Has it really been five months? Yeah, sorry guys. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video and I'm usually bad about getting videos up, but usually not five months bad. But good news, we moved. Well, good and bad. It's kind of sad because I liked Berlin where we were, but you know, things change. Uh, negotiations for the space didn't go exactly as planned, so here we are. Yeah, the space is a little bit smaller, but it's workable. We actually have slightly more space in manufacturing and my office space than I do for the retail. It took a little getting used to, but I think we can make it work. We're in a little town called Snow Hill, Maryland. Uh, it's not too far from Berlin where the old shop used to be located. And uh, it's a pretty cool little town. It's, um, it's historic, just like Berlin. It doesn't get quite the touristy foot traffic because we're not as close to Ocean City, but I like it. I like small towns, uh, these cool old buildings. So uh, as you can see, I'm still working on things, screws, ladders, tools, soaping stuff. So as we get settled here, um, I want to really get back into doing these videos with you guys so that, you know, we can all learn together. I can learn stuff, you can learn stuff, you can teach me stuff. And uh, it's good. I, I like doing the channel and I really need to get back on it. And, but basically, in order to get back on track, I'm going to start answering questions that pop up in my comments. I'm always getting questions in the comments. I try to answer as many as I can, but you know, it's, it's been complicated. So it's almost easier if I get back on doing the videos and start answering questions as they come up. I try to stay away from super controversial stuff. Uh, I just like to do everyday moronic things that tick me off. So uh, any suggestions you got, throw it in the comments down below. Like I said, stay away from politics and religion and uh, we'll see how it goes. So here's the first question from Ducky's mom. Hey Uncle John, with adding Neo to the soap recipe, are they diluted in oil? Did you make or purchase? Thanks. I'm new and trying to figure it out before I even start. Laughing, crying face emoji. So Ducky's mom, I do not make any essential oils or fragrances. Um, there's just no way I'd have the time to do it. And honestly, uh, you really can't make a good product for the price that you can buy them on the market currently. You know, you want to kind of research your ingredients, find out what where your line in the sand is, what you're willing to deal with as far as additives and things like that. Most essential oils that you get are going to come in some sort of carrier, uh, usually a light oil of some sort, uh, very light. Because honestly, essential oils in their purest form is really not great for your skin. Uh, definitely don't want to ingest them, things like that. Uh, you specifically named essential oils, so I want to make sure, don't, don't discount fragrances. Um, there are some really good fragrances out there, high quality, and there's a lot of scents that you just can't get in an essential oil. Uh, there are some absolutes and things like that you can use, but don't be afraid to check them out and research them because honestly, a lot of the fragrances out there that are made for Bath and Body are actually safer than a lot of essential oils that you're going to be using. So just some food for thought. Now, when we add our essential oils and fragrances to our soaps and products like that, they're already diluted, like I said, to whatever the standards are in whatever carrier oil that works best for them. Um, so we're just using them according to the IFRA guidelines. Um, don't ask me what that stands for because I forget. But anyway, there is a safe guideline and each supplier should be giving you the amount that's safe to use in bath soaps, scrubs, facial cleansers, uh, lip balms, which you're not going to usually use essential oils or fragrances and lip balms. Uh, usually they're either plain or you use a... Uh, flavoring agent and usually it's in a percentage so if they say you know five percent up to five percent is safe to use in bath soaps then we would figure out what your oils are from your base recipe in weight and then five percent of that would be how much in weight you would put into your batch of soap uh, a lot of times it seems to bounce between three and five percent for a lot of stuff but that's not always going to be the case, so make sure you check on that. Wholesale Supplies Plus is good at that. Bulk Apothecary, Bulk Apothecary I think is good at that, and a few others, but um, always look for those numbers because each manufacturer is going to have their specific numbers to work from. Stupid fly. But anyway, 
I hope that answers your question. Uh, if you got any more, and if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And like I said, I'm going to start compiling a list of all these questions. And I'm going to start, you know, if it's a lengthy question, I'll just do one. Uh, if I can get a few, like, you know, two or three or four shorter questions that are easier to answer, then I might do them in clusters in a video. And, uh, yeah, I'm always open to suggestions. So let me know your ideas. And if you're ever in Snow Hill, stop by and check us out. See you.